Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome. Today we will continue, we will discuss hazard and operability study HAZOP, which is one of the hazard identification techniques and it is in continuation with our previous hazard identification techniques like we have discussed PHL and PHA and HAZOP is a very interesting one and you will see that uh, you, you will learn a lot in terms of identifying hazards in process industries particularly where you are dealing with continuous processes which is uh, characterized by several process parameters and there is uh, design intent and accordingly the parameters may deviate from the inten intended uh, design and you will find out many, gui many guide words and then a list of deviations and then finally, you will see the HAZO matrix, but all those things will be, uh, will be identified or other way I can say the HAZO matrix will be developed using certain procedures that is called HAZO procedure and we will also discuss some um, on example that how to conduct HAZO. Primarily the source of um, this lecture material uh, is of two books, one is uh, one is the industrial hygiene and chemical safety by M H. Fulekar 2010, IK International Private Limited and Hazard Analysis Techniques for System Safety by A. Erickson to Clifton early 2005. So, this is what is the content of today's presentation. So, in order to understand HAZOP, you require to define some of the terms which we are saying that terms definitions and under these few important things one is study nodes, second one is intention, then deviation, causes, consequences. If you recall PHL or PHA, you have seen that we have discussed that the total system will be broken down into subsystem and then subsystem will be broken down to sub subsystem and finally, to the component level and and then may be at the component level or at the sub subsystem level or the system level you will you will try to find out the hazards and the easiest way to find uh, to go for this is start with the component level and compare with hazardous, hazardous energy sources, hazardous process and events and you will ultimately uh, find out the um, hazard elements, initiative mechanisms and target threats in terms of hazard triangle. So, that means that is the starting point that means you have to find out that hazard for what. So, similarly in HAZOP, the HAZOP, the issue is that in given a system where you want to study the deviation. The location at which you study the deviation is known as study nodes. The location at which you study the deviation. Okay. For example, if we talk about the pressure tank system and if we are interested to, uh, to know uh, the deviation in terms of pressure inside the tank, then the tank itself could be a study node. 
so that is why and the process parameters which will be which will be uh, of interest is the pressure there. Suppose, if you think of the pump then pump overrun is the deviation and then then basically the time of running is the time is the parameters too long too short. So, similarly, if you think of a chemical reaction there you may find out that there the reaction time could be of importance and there the reactor will be the uh, location at which you are interested to uh, to conduct Hazard study and find out the deviations. So, that is why the location at which the process parameter are investigated for deviations. Obviously, the process parameter is important, we will come to all those nitty gritties, but for the time being you understand you are given a system. Now, you will not you will not study for process deviation at each and every equipment, each and every pipeline or each and every uh, valves all those things it is impossible. So, what you will do you will choose uh, a select uh, selective locations and in such a way you choose so that the, the, the system para process parameters all will be investigated. Okay. And usually, and then what will be the guideline? Basically, if I talk, I am talking about a chemical process where P and I D piping and instrumentation diagram is very important. You just your starting point will be the P and I D. See the P and I D. There will be a lot of pipelines, valves, and all those things. The most vulnerable part you must take. Okay, and either either the location could be a pipeline, location could be a particular valve, a equipment, or anything. But but selection of that location is, is typically a difficult work, but with with a team uh, or having a team uh, with required process knowledge, design knowledge and hazard knowledge it is possible to find out the minimum number of locations or study note which will help in conducting the an efficient hazard study. Okay. Second one is the intention. Intention means how the plant is expected to operate in the absence of deviation. So, what is the normal operating conditions? So, that is the intention. For example, if I talk about the pressurized tank, then definitely there is a maximum value of pressure which is designed or minimum value of pressure which is designed so that the gas should be filled to that amount that the uh, the pressure within the tank will be with a minimum pressure to maximum pressure some range will be there. So, minimum to maximum. So, this is may be may be you are operating normally remember you are operating within this range, but this is what is the designing designed one. So, you may you may consider that if it is beyond this normal one this is a deviation. Okay. So, <clears throat> similarly when you are running a machine speed there is the range, feed there is a range, suppose the time, now suppose the current flowing, the voltage all those things they have design intent, design range for, nor for normal operating conditions and which basically we are talking about absence of deviation. Then what is deviation? Deviation is departure from the design intention, departure from the intention is deviation. That means, you, you your, your pressure should be P 1 to P 2, but if it is less than P 1 that is also deviation, greater than P 1 that is also deviation. You should run a pump suppose for T 1 time or maybe if you say it range is T 1 to T 2, then if you run it less than T 1 that is also deviation greater than T 2 that is also deviation. Sometimes deviation can be one sided also. Okay. So, this deviation is determined in Hazard study using process parameters 
and some guide words. Okay. So, what are the process para commonly used process parameters and what are the guide words we will be discussing next. But for the time being you understand you have a big system you divide it into small system you find out the locations where the hazard study will be conducted you have identified the parameters applicable to applicable to that particular locations and you have appropriate guide words guide words like if i say my parameter is um, pressure then more pressure then more pressure is the deviation more is the guide word less pressure is deviation less is the guide word i'll show you all those uh, things yes, a substantial number of guide words will be discussed then if there is deviation for example over pressure is a deviation then what you require to know you require to find out what are the causes of those causes of de causing the over pressure so that means you have to find out find out the factors responsible for that deviation so the reasons finding out the regions you have to do why analysis why why analysis why over pressure that mean pump over run why pump over run current to uh, pump is too long why current to pump too long timer fail all those things with refer with reference to pressure tank example we have discussed earlier so you have to find out okay so once a deviation has been shown to have a credible cause it can be treated as a meaningful deviation. So, there can be many deviation, there can be many trivial deviation, there can be many significant deviation. There will be some deviations which are obvious and which can be okay, can be uh, rectified immediately, but there are some there will be many deviations which which requires intensive causal analysis and then lot of credible causes will be identified and finally, you will uh, all those mean uh, deviations will be treated as meaningful deviations. These causes now causes can be equipment failure, can be human error, can be an unanticipated process stage like change of composition, external disruptions also can be the causes. Okay. So, as I told you if you say over pressure is the deviation then obviously immediate cause is pressure, pump overrun. Then, then if you dig down further then pump overrun because because that means connect pump is allowed to run more mean the contact is not separated current to the uh, pump is uh, given more than the design time and even if, if, if you go further you will find out that the timer does not work or the operator manually uh, could not um, remove the switch or other way you can discard the switch so many things are there. So, this kind of analysis uh, once you do they will give you the causes. Then consequence is what? These are the result of the deviation. So, once there is a deviation for example, over pressure what is the consequence? If over pressure is there then the system immediately what happen react against over pressure. There are relief valve, there are discharge valve, there, there is a pressure gauge alarm all those things. So, under over pressure situation relief valve should work. So, what relief valve releases certain amount of gas with reference to the pressure tank system, but if that fails what will happen. So, ultimately you have to think that what will happen next what 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 some kind of events you have to anticipate that is what is consequence and finally, due to the over pressure situation the tank rupture will take place. Okay. So, here, here you see release of toxic materials, trivial consequences relative to study objectives are dropped, trivial consequences we will not consider. Okay. So, this is what is basically the definitions and has of if you if you see that it is extensively used in chemical industries. Now, what is the HAZO procedure? I think I have explained the procedure. Now, I am repeating the same. First is divide process flow into sections. Better, better you find out your PNID diagram. PNI diagram. 
then in the PNID diagram I say that you segregate the diagram in such a manner that get some small sub subsystem maybe up to at the component level also. So, you divide into sections then for section I choose a study node study node can be a line a vessel a pump I told you it can be a component it can be pipeline it can be a subsystem as a whole also. Then you find out the design intent means what happened? what is design intent you know the process parameters here. So, every parameter as based on design there is some kind of range or some intention is there it should be high low less all those things. Then select a guide word and a process parameter apply the guide word to process parameter then find out this will give you deviation this gives deviation now once you have the deviation for every deviation identify causes then also for every deviation find out the consequences then repeat what I can say you have to repeat everything but in between what happened you will write down some action what to what to do who will do and when it will be done your results will be documented they repeat 5 to 9 repeat 4 to 10 repeat 2 to 11 repeat 1 to 12 for every new guide word 5 to 9 for every process parameter guide word then 4 to 10 for a new study node 2 to 11 for new section 1 to 12. Okay. Now, if I consider the pressure tank system, suppose this system, so suppose I will consider this is my study node 1, tank is pressure pump is study node 2, and the rest is study node 3. Okay. So, that means what happened? I have considered let it be two sections one is the storage, another one is the pumping. So, in the storage section, I have, you have considered the tank itself a node or maybe you as a relief bulb is an important one another one may be this is one and another one relief bulb will be two. There is another bulb that is called discharge bulb. So, it may not be required to it may it may con there is pressure pressure gauge there is alarm so many things are there. So, in section 1 2 node in section 2 may be this is 3 and this one 4. So, what happened pump another node and your, uh, your the circuit is another node. So, you just what happened that means first you divide into sections then in every section find your nodes and then what happened for every node what you required to do for every node. you suppose node number 1 is is my tank node number 1 is pressure tank what is the design intent what is the basically that the pressure at of gas which will be hold here. So, then for that uh, for that select the guide word pressure then apply guide word uh, and guide word may be high low like this and in this process then if it is high pressure find out the uh, sorry determine the causes determine the causes if over pressure is there what will be the consequence I said the tank rupture and in this way you recommend what to do then record the result. Then repeat 5 to 9 new guide word here it is more pressure now less pressure repeat the these things then apply 4 to 5 new process parameter you take another process parameter may be it is not on pressure it may be your temperature or something else repeat this. Then repeat 2 to 11 new study node one, 1 is completed go to 2 ok. So, 1 is completed go to 2 then when 2 will be completed go to 3 3 will be completed go to 4 in this way what will happen all the study node will be considered. Now, let us see when we talk about we talk about sorry talk about the procedure 
Now you may be interested to know that what are the guide words, what are the process parameters, some guidelines you are looking for. That guidelines I am giving you now. So common pro uh, common process parameters, flow, pressure, temperature, time, level, concentration, phase, power, volume, composition, viscosity, agitation, reaction, component. So, all may not be applicable, all may not be applicable to your study note, some will be applicable like I say the pressure tank is the study note, pressure is applicable, temperature may not be applicable, do not go for this. If I go for the um, your that pump, may be here pay flow, pressure, temperature, this may not be important, time is important with reference to this pump, okay. may be power is important because there is a power if it is high power low power problem will be there ok. Suppose if you if you think of a think of a chemical reaction suppose sulfuric acid and ammonia then what will happen the amount a study node you may choose where the amount of ammonia or amount of sulfuric acid will be important and in that case the flow may be determined the amount then flow will be a, a process parameter ok. I will give you one example related to this. So, then what are the guide words? Guide words are as I told you suppose if I say pressure, if you say more then it is more pressure. So, guide word is more. What is more? Quantitative increase. You may say less pressure if you consider flow you may say no flow this is negation you may say less flow you may say more flow so there will be no flow less flow more flow these are deviation so what is deviation the deviation is the combination of the parameter process parameter flow and the guide word no so no flow deviation so here this way it is given. You see no means negation of the design intent. Design intensity there must be flow, there must be flow of the sulfuric acid to the reactor. There is no flow, no material is going. Less qualitative decrease, more high quantitative increase, part of first one is quantitative decrease, quantitative increase, part of qualitative decrease as well as qualitative increase reverse logical opposite of the intent other than too long too short. So, what happened uh, once you get some case for you and you will find out that uh, some of these guide words will be applicable to the process parameter. So, you combine the guide word with the process parameter and when you combine the two you will get the deviation ok. Like, like current to current to the pump too long it is a time. So, too long basically pump overrun. Similarly, too short pump under run will be there and in the as a result the pressure uh, at the tank will be less ok. So, this I have already discussed. Interestingly, you are looking for some example definitely. Flow is a very important, uh, important one, but at the same time very easy to understand. No flow, more flow, high flow you will get. Similarly, more, um, uh, more pressure, low pressure ok. But when you talk about as well as which is qualitative increase, as well as means it is basically parameter is one phase then as well as one phase mean it is basically deviation means you are deviating to qualitative increase that is two phase not in one phase. Similarly, there is another guide word other than suppose it is in time to do the actual operation, but that time other than operation maintenance work was going on. So, then that mean other than will operation lead to maintenance. So, this is the deviation. Suppose you are you, you require a particular job to use 
to produce something, but may be different material given to you. So, then other than that particular material. So, so then with this background, now you are in a position to develop hazometrix and what is this hazometrix? Along the top of the matrix process parameters, down the left hand column are deviation or guide words, some of the cells may be omitted. For example, the process keyword flow is not used when analyzing a vessel. Let us see what is this. Okay. See, these are the guide words, these are the parameters. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, this is what is the parameter flow, pressure, temperature, time. These are the guide words, maybe study node, study node 1, pressure tank. Then what, is, what guide parameter is important? This parameter is important. What will be the guide word? High pressure. This is or high or more that is giving you the same. Similarly, too long is not applicable. Similarly, low pressure or less. Okay. Suppose if I talk about the uh, the reaction part chemical reaction part where sulfuric acid is coming and then another side it is ammonia coming suppose my study node is here this one will uh, explain little later here then flow is important no flow high flow something like this ok. So, this is this what is basically talking about hazometrics means you just think of for every study node what will happen you will have different parameters that is applicable and different guide words applicable. These are, if you do node specific this and finally, superimpose, what you superimpose? You will basically from this node what are the uh, guide words parameter applicable, then write down go, go to the second node write down and then you augment this. So, you will be getting you will be getting different study nodes different deviations. So, this entire list will be hazometrics. Repeating the same in terms of diagram, divide the system into study node, select a node, apply all specialized guide words in turn, turn hazards operations problem. Then what will happen if it is not go for next one. If it is not sure, need more information. If it is yes, record the consequence and causes and suggest remedies. What additional information you are getting here? Additional information is when you are selecting a node, then when you are trying to apply the guide words, finding out the deviation, and if you find out that these deviations are not going to have any kind of hazardous situation, then you forget about it. But if you are not sure, you collect more data. If you are sure, then you record the consequences, causes, and also the remedies you mention. So, this way a list will be hazard list will be prepared. Now, you see one example. Yes. What is the example here? Example here, this is the reactor. So, here phosphoric acid is mixed, ammonia is mixed, and then the reaction takes place, diammonium phosphate is produced. Suppose you are given this system for Hajjob study. So, what you will do? This is the total system, it is a some simple system. So, you do not mean you do not require to break it into sub system, sub sub system. So, it is a one section. So, now in this section you, you identify the study nodes. 
what is the study node 1 then study node 2 and study node 3. You see the study node are taken actually on the pipeline. The interesting point here is that this study node ultimately talks about the health of this acid tank, the valve, the pipelines also. This one also similarly talks about the this ammonia tank, valve and the pipeline. Also before preceding part means upstream and downstream also can be understood with the study nodes also. And another study node here which is basically after the reactor because if these two study nodes say things are correct then this is this is the next what will happen here may be the problem and this can be understood if we consider study node here. One may say I want to say that we consider study node this tank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 then pipeline here 7, valve 8 another pipeline 9, another pipeline 10, it will be a many. But if you if you do that way also and finally, if you compare with the results having three study nodes, you will find out that almost all the deviations are identified here also in the three study nodes that is called judiciously considering. Why pipelines are usually considered because they are the most vulnerable, more vulnerable points. By saying this, I am not saying that you do not take reactor, you, may, you also take it, it, it all depends on the, uh, uh, on the safety criticality. Now, it is you who will determine that how many study nodes will be there, you means the, pers the team, expert team having the system knowledge, design knowledge, hazard knowledge, different lessons already learned, all those things uh, uh, prerequisites must be there. Please, please do not consider that you alone an expert and you will be able to do it uh, single handedly. Hajjob study is, is a team game and it is a big work and it is not done every day, it is done at particular periodical intervals maybe once in a year suppose or when the new system will come you know, something like this. Okay. So, with reference to this, let us see what is, what will happen, how do we, how do we go for this study node business, has of business. I want to read it out because this will give you that what is happening. In this process, the phosphoric acid and ammonia are mixed and in NP fertilizer, diammonium phosphate results if the reaction of ammonia is complete. If too little phosphoric acid is added, the reaction is incomplete and excess ammonia results. If too little ammonia is available to the reactor, results in a safe but undesirable product which is mono ammonium diammonium phosphate and there will be loss of material, there will be corrosion downstream because of this, this product is corrosive in nature. The HAZOP team is assigned to investigate personal hazard from the reaction, only personal hazard you can you can you know that there will the target threat and uh, target will be people property and environment here it is people is the concern okay so study node 1 study node 1 is here what is happening here sulfuric acid is coming through this now, parameter is flow, guide word is no, what is the result? No flow. So, no flow, why no flow? Valve A closes, phosphoric acid tank no supply or there is jam in the pipe or you can say uh, pipe ruptures, all those things will be the causes. What is the consequence? If less sulfuric acid comes to the reactor, excess ammonia in reactor and release to work area. Excess pressure, pressure relief valve rupture, ammonia with downstream products leading to death subconsciousness because it is a hazard as well. What is the suggested action? If you find out here is no flow, you have to control ammonia flow. A automatic closure of valve B 
this valve will be closed and so that loss of flow from phosphoric acid automatic closure of valve be on loss of flow from phosphoric acid supply ok. Let us see the next no flow we have seen now see here may be less flow less flow. So, that means flow is the parameter first one is no flow second one is less flow find out the causes find out the consequences you suggest action again automatic closure of valve B. So, if you repeat this what is happening here more flow now more flow. So, why more flow here more flow increased flow at study node 1 and then causes flow meters gives inferior results pump performance enhanced due to high electric voltage flow. It is not automatic hmm. pump is used for this. So, if there is more flow excess phosphoric acid degrades product, but present less hazard at workplace. Okay. So, this is the way you have to conduct and then study node 1 flow you are writing part of flow concentration is less. Then what are the causes vendor delivers wrong material or, or concentration error in charging phosphoric acid supply tank there will be consequences there will be suggested actions. Okay. Now, what happened again as well as as well as mean means qualitative increase increase concentration why increase concentration find out the reasons no not a realistic consideration since highest available concentration used to charge supply. So, that means this is not possible forget about this next other than what is what is in design intention supply of supply of sulfuric acid. So, you are supplying other than sulfuric acid sorry other than phosphoric acid I am sorry it is phosphoric acid. other than phosphoric acid. Now, phosphoric acid why other than uh, flow means material other than phosphoric acid in line. So, maybe we are using sulphuric acid let it be like this. Then wrong delivery from vendor wrong material chosen. So, these are the causes and consequences you have to find out. Okay. So, you continue this. Okay. So, let me go little back again just to you just see phosphoric acid and ammonia are mixed keep in mind not sulfuric acid phosphoric acid and ammonia are mixed and then that fertilizer is produced and I have shown you that in each, each uh, how that uh, that parameters and guidewords are used and how deviations are determined and then once deviation is significant then what the, 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 the causes consequences and suggested actions are identified the team will do it. Then finally, what you will do you you once you finish node 1 go to node 2 node 3. So, all the study node will be completed for a particular section next section like the entire system all study node will be complete and you will be having a uh, having exhaustive leads of a list of deviations and then it is the documentation. Once you have all those things you require to document I think it will be better if we say that serial number 1 then study node then how many deviations you are getting then the what are the causes what are the consequences and then what are the actions at least this much you must be. So, if I say study node one, uh, serial number 1 study node may be your that one uh, study node 1 that pipeline then your deviation if you say this is no flow 
then you have seen the causes, you have seen the consequences, you have seen the action required. Again study node 1 that is more flow, less flow, part of flow as well as flow, all those things you use and finally, for study node 1 we have discussed all those things what are the causes, consequences and their actions. Now then, then serial number this is again 1, this is 2, 3, 4 like this. So, like this what will happen your study node 2 will start in this way study node 3 like study node n, n number of nodes will be there and against every node there will be many deviations for every deviation find out the causes consequences and actions taken and obviously the team should work together and and develop a exhaustive hedge of list. Here, if there if any deviation is not possible, do not include. If you think that a deviation is trivial one, you may not include or even if you include, you can write down in, term in com under comments that it is a trivial one. Okay. Another one is that uh, you can put under remark also you can put if any of the actions are implemented that will be your closed, if not implemented it is open. Okay. So, I hope that you got a brief idea about Hedgehog study and it is a it is a really a scientific study and it is a difficult study. My sole purpose here is to tell you the process of conducting hazards uh, analysis or hazard identification using Hedgehog and I am sure that you have understood it. Okay. So, to repeat to repeat the thing let me tell you what you have to do. A system will be given to you or you will be choosing. Then system will be finally, broken down up to section level. A section can be a, a simple equipment or it can be a combination of equipment uh, or uh, you may not require to go to this level. The system given is so small that it is one section. Now, in this particular every section you find out this couple of study nodes. Then for every study node find out the couple, uh, find out the applicable process parameters, process parameters. Then for once you for take one parameter find out how many guide words are applicable. For example, in case of flow we have shown 5 guide words it can be more guide words can be also. So, using this guide word to the process parameter find out the deviation an exhaustive list of deviation will be found out exhaustive list of deviation. So, similarly then go for the second study node go for the third study node find out the list of deviations. Then go for section 2 like this. So, that means there will be maybe your a big n number of study nodes. So, on an average maybe for every study node there will be a different uh, so, different deviations. So, there will be capital M number of total deviation where M is definitely more than N. Okay. So, this is what is uh, our uh, and, and, and final one is the documentation you document the process documentation documentation I told you study note then then every study node guide words I mean deviations then causes consequences action status all those things. So, thank you very much and I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture also and be sure that uh, you will apply this unless you apply to a real life situation or a case if you will not develop you will not learn this thanks a lot.